Are we going to go racing this time? We Apologies, are green. Yes, we are green. So up to the first corner. And it's a great start from the number 55. Ramakas holds on in front of Antonov. A couple of drivers take it to the grass. But Antonov stops through. Antonov takes the lead from Ramakas. Then oh, the other shoots. Coming together. Ramakas coming through. There's a big incident in the chicane behind them. But Ramakas steals back the lead. Just in the nick of time from Antonov. As five to six carts are all embroiled in this one. Absolute disaster. Yeah, it was all in the mid-pack. It started with Noah Wolf, and then it's uh, Tame Soleil, Christian Castoya, uh, Slater, Kamiat, Martinez oh. as well. All of them involved. Well, we haven't really had a huge pileup over the course of the weekend, and that's chicane. But now we get one at the final, and that's Soleil, Castoya, Slater, who does get going again, Kamiat. Albag, Marty, Mins and Pazel all out of the race, but now it's game on for Antonov, who is trying his best to charge forward and get back on terms with Tiba Ramakas. Then Werrell, Salah, Schaufler, Didier, Van Langendorf and Hannah as round the outside, Werrell defends from Salah. There's an investigation into the start for Nicholas Schaufler, I'm afraid. Yeah. That is a big scalp as Noah Montero makes his bid on Davide Bataro and gets through. So a nice comeback from the Portuguese driver so far. Let's look at the replay of the start and we'll see what happened. Look at Antonov. Antonov is going to go the long way round, swing it out. And look, he manages to carry the pace around the outside, tucks back in behind Ramakas and watch as he dives in straight away into third corner. But then he drifts out wide at the chicane and that's where it all opens up. So Ramakas tries his best and then comes straight back at him. There's a little bit of wheel banging and that's critical. Ramakas able to take back the lead, but then so many drivers bit the dust. Kaczynski already out, then Soleil, Kostoya, Kamyab, Albag, Marty, Minz, and Pazel. Tame Soleil, warning flag, sorry, James. Yeah. Oh, sorry, James? Jake. <laughs> Get my names all mixed up. No worries. The number 67, what a disaster for him. Five second time penalty in the final. Well, he was already out of the race anyway. Yeah. But Antonov now trying to make his bid to close back up on Ramakas. Then Werrell, Salah, DTF. Werrell is still within a second of the leader, so this is going well for Lewis Werrell. He sets a fastest lap, 56-0. What an interesting battle it is now as we come up to the end of lap five, and Timo Ramica is still hanging on from Antonov and Werrell. The gap between them is nine tenths of a second. Antonov falling into the clutches of Werrell, though. Yes, indeed, he's got to be careful as the pack is starting to form up. There's Zach Drummond just behind as well. This is going to be a crucial one as he dives down the inside and oh. nearly gets his nose cut off there from DTF. DTF lucky he didn't spin there into the corner as Montero with the fastest lap. He's got to be careful. All of them have got to be careful through here because Van Lannen Donk is a driver who likes to go for moves as an overtake just there on the corner yeah, of the was, screen. That was, I think, Jack Eilif getting the move on the inside of Salim Haddad as we watch DTF battling his way with Salah once again. Yeah, and Salah straight away back on it. He's really good at getting that switchback move. Uh, on them again. Yeah, he can read the situation quite well, but Nicholas Schaufler has split them, and now he's going up the inside of Salah. Great run from Nicholas Schaufler. The Austrian going so well at this point, but he holds up Salah. This is going to be the chance for DTF to get back up the inside and go with Schaufler. Salah round the outside, trying to hold it. Beautifully done from Salah. Hangs on from DTF. Yeah, and that was incredible car control to hang that round the outside. I thought he was going to understeer completely off the circuit, but like you say, that's where the pressure tyres come into play. They can do things like that now. It's still there, four tenths of a second, but it is creeping down a little bit more now. It could get interesting at the front. We're about half race distances down the inside. Brilliant move there from Selim Hanna on Jack Eilif. Gets through and moves up in towards P9. And Montero picks up a couple there as well. He's picked up Lindblom and also Bondarev. This could get interesting. Oh, oh. and that's an off at the final bend. That is the 48. That is Aksoy. Yeah, Alp Aksoy, who was running so, so well in this race, now sees himself broken, stopped at the side of the circuit. What a disaster. Well, Alp Aksoy trying to fight his way further forward. He's made a massive step forward in terms of his overall speed, but unfortunately, the luck not with him today. He here in Valencia, and as they come down the short stretch again, let's have a look at how it happened. Down into the braking zone, Axoy. Oh, oh, it was he, a mistake. He just lost it under brakes, yeah. and unfortunately, the back end kicked out. He wasn't able really to do anything about it. He has got going again, but unfortunately, Axoy now down in 28th and dead last. There's a long way still to go as far as he and the team are concerned, and they are still pushing. Werrell, actually the fastest driver on track at the moment, not just with the fastest lap last time, but looking like a fastest lap this time as well. Schaufler, fourth position. Here they come again. The gap is a second. 
half between Ramakas and Antonov. Change Antonov gets the fastest lap of the race in. 55.920 brings the gap down to four tenths. Antonov's not done yet. Ramakas still trying to ramp away. But Antonov is keeping him honest. This is going to be a battle of the wills as to whose tyres hang on the longest. I think, yeah, because right now, because it's the, they've all got the fresh set, it's really just a game of who can use their tyres the most, really, isn't it? Oh, replay. Bondarev hopping over the curves. Yeah. That's why he's That's lost the momentum. Down. It's so easy to do. And you only miss it by maybe half an inch, and then you end up going skywards. Five laps to go. He's still got a chance to close up on Antonov. But these guys really are stretching the limits of what's possible in these carts on this circuit. And the fact that the temperature is going up so rapidly will definitely be playing its part. It's actually accelerating the heat. Now here comes Van Langendonk all over the back of Jack Eilif. So Eilif has managed to get through and make the overtake. He now tucks up behind Zach Drummond. Not many laps left to go. And, well, Ramakers, that gap, look at it, over a second now, 1.1. He has been unstoppable this weekend. I think Antonov has thrown everything he possibly can at it. Just looking at that front bumper, actually, on uh, is that Jack Eilin. Is that Jack yeah, it's, uh, it's very much bent in there. Tibor Ramakers has led all but about eight laps of this weekend. It's been absolutely phenomenal. The Belgian is going to come through for VDK Racing, for Belgium, and for everyone watching, he has dominated! Timo Ramakers wins in Valencia!